Hey, everybody. Welcome to Big Dumb Monsters. I'm Nick. And I'm Chris. And this week, we take a trip to Norway for uh, Troll Hunters. Getting Norwegian as fuck this yeah. week. Yeah. Pretty fun uh, romp for the hillside to, to find some trolls and either explode them or turn them to stone. Pretty good movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, we get into that. Uh, we get into a lot of nonsense. Kind of a short episode. But, well, uh, yeah, there's a lot of like non-movie stuff to get into because like, the, there's like no better known as stuff. Like, mm-hmm. There's not a whole lot of trivia. Yeah, but it's, it's fine. A, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I'm going to go out on a limb and say fun episode. <laughs> Pardon me. You'll hear a couple more of those. Yeah. Um, yeah. Allergy season. Anyway, Big Dumb Monsters talking about troll hunters. Enjoy the show. folks we're here we're here we're here we're there we're not everywhere we're just here just here it's goddamn saturday night it's saturday night we have watched a movie we've got a veritable buffet of alcohol laid out in front of us a buffet yeah a buffet of alcohol mm-hmm. um we're just hanging out having a good time yeah yep watching some fucking trolls yeah <laughs> man this was actually once i watched the proper version of it yeah. Not fucking bad. <laughs> let's start off by saying we're watching Troll Hunter tonight. Yeah. Um, let's also start off by saying... Uh, you should watch the... The original... Subtitled version. Yeah. Do not watch the fucking dubbed version. I said I made it about 30... I made it up to that guy talking, the guy with the glasses. Oh, really? Yeah, Is that, yeah. that atrocious for you? Yeah. I think I made it maybe 45 minutes. God damn. Yeah. And I was like... I was out of it. Like I was watching it and I was like, I was on my phone for like fucking 20 minutes of it. It was visually and orally nails on a chalkboard it for that bad. 30 seconds. Was, I was watching it. Yeah. It was not, not fun. Um, because the dub like didn't match up with the voices at all. Like it just, it just sucked. And the voices were literally, you could just, they, they were tell bad. They were, they were just reading like off of, of a card. Like, yeah. 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 Like you can do really good dubs. Yeah. It just wasn't one of them. Yeah. Yeah. That was not one of them. They didn't. They didn't budget correctly. I don't think that's what the problem was. <laughs> Too much troll money, not enough dub money. They probably could have used a little more troll money. Yeah. Um. I. I'll hold off on the gripes. I'll hold. I'll get. To, we'll get to the gripes. I, I do. It's really not even so much a gripe. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. We're on it now. Why am I putting it off? We are reviewing the movie. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> My gripe with this is I wish there were more trolls. I feel like that's when I lost interest was like once we get that first like cool three headed troll. Yeah. We don't get trolls again until like those Mountain King trolls, like another like 15, 20, no. 30 minutes later. Uh, no, you get the one that was under the bridge. Oh, the bridge, the bridge. That's right. That's right. Yeah. But like, I feel like there was a gap between like that first troll and like the next troll. Mm. And like, it was just like, uh, that's when I started checking out. Yes, but. If it's loaded down with trolls, it doesn't feel like there's an ebb and a flow. True. You know what I mean? Like, because then you'll just hit trolls and then it's all like action packed. Yeah. This yeah. has a really good pace. I like, I, I felt it had a really good pace. I don't know. I started dipping out in the middle a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm agreeing. I'm agreeing with you that it could have used a little more, but I don't think like once it hits trolls, it's like bang, troll, troll, yeah, troll. Yeah. Troll, yeah. Troll. I'm not saying like, like nonstop, like yeah, just like, an orgy of fucking like trolls. One more in uh, between. Orgy of the, trolls uh, yeah. opening it at Valentine's uh, this weekend also. <laughs> Where? <laughs> <laughs> it's 1998, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, this, for the joke's purposes. They're at the QE2. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're gonna play the Park Five Cafe next weekend. These are old people jokes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's right after our gig at Heritage Park. Oh, anyway, buddy, <laughs> playing Savannahs. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I played Savannahs. <laughs> I was gonna say Tom played Heritage Park. Yeah. Uh, anyway, fucking oh, uh, back to the current century. <laughs> 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 as we move away from our disbanded music venues podcast yeah 
and just general entertainment venues in yeah, Grinch Park's case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I liked it. I like I said, like I was watching the 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 original dub version, and I was just not interested at all. Like because yeah. it was so no, I shitty. immediately had to switch to the subtitle version, and then once I go to the dub or the uh, the subtitle version today because I, I tried to watch this last night and I was like half in the bag to begin with. So, <laughs> it's, um, so I started watching the, the subtitle version and I'm immediately way more interested Yeah, because for starters, I have to look at it because I have to be able to read it. Yeah. So that's automatically got me kind of glued to it. And then it takes a lot of the goofiness out of it. Yeah. You don't have this. Oh, look, there is a troll. Oh no, we should run. Yeah. Like this shitty like that the shitty voice acting doesn't take you out of it. Yeah. No, it's it was bad. Um but there's really like there's really good stuff in this movie and yeah. I wasn't expecting it. I do it. I do really enjoy this movie. Uh, I, we were talking about this in our, our our group text earlier. This is like the third time I've seen this movie. It was uh the first time for me. Yeah. If if we're not counting last night, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, no, I I do enjoy this movie like it it's a different, it does something a little bit different with the found footage thing. Like usually found footage is like, at this point we're like drenched with paranormal activity movies, you know, this is yeah. 2010. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's nice to have something different. Yeah. So like it's, it's a monster. It's, you know, kind of a kaiju. We can debate that. Uh, mm. I would say the one at the end, I would say your average, like, you know, garden variety trolls, the ones like in the middle, <laughs> not so much, but the one yeah. at the end, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I would say, I mean, what's kaiju mean? Giant monster? Giant monster. That one's well, 200 feet tall. I fucking think. giant monster. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was cool. I like the uh, the idea that, you know, they're like government controlled. You know, they have to stay in their territory. If they wander out, we have to, yeah. we send this guy out to kill them. And I very much dig the, like the dude who's just like, this is his job. Like he just fucking, yeah, this is it. This is what I do. Fucking. Like he's griping. I don't get overtime. Yeah, I don't get I don't overnight. Be, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. Fuck this shit. Like I'm yeah. getting screwed. I yeah. do like the little bit of comedy that's in this. Yeah. And it, it's not a lot. It's just enough to like, oh yeah. Ha ha. Like when he's he's got the armor on and he's gonna <laughs> yeah, fucking, fucking troll just wham <laughs> <laughs> fucking slaps the shit out of him takes a bite and he just he just ragdolls yeah. he I gets like, up he gets up and he's like Ugh, and he grabs the syringe and he's <laughs> <laughs> you know this guy hates his fucking job <laughs> like there's even I think uh, I think it is it is after that one we're like. Where he's just sitting on the fucking bridge, like the armor's all off, just smoking a cigarette. Yeah. Like I fucking love that. Like yeah, <laughs> just, just like just stupid shit. Like is going back to that scene like, where he goes, "Stand back, I'm gonna spread around some Christian man's blood." Yeah, he's got a bucket of fucking <laughs> a blood. Bucket of blood. <laughs> where um, did you get that? <laughs> Um, but I like how they really, like, they stick to, like, the mythology. Like, you know, I don't really know much about, like, fucking... Like, Scandinavian trolls. Yeah, Norse yeah. mythology, but fucking... Yeah. Uh, but from, like, what I know, it's pretty, like, accurate. Like, the whole, like, turning the stone and shit like that. And, yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah, that's that's just trolls in general, yeah. really. Um, well, they just eat tires, fucking... Yeah, this is whatever. They'll eat whatever. Yeah. But apparently tires are a, a nice treat for trolls, so... Uh, I I don't know if like maybe I just missed it, but like I don't understand what this film crew originally set out to do. Yeah, I think they were just like I think they were just like making a joke out of this guy. Like it, you know, it, it was this you know everybody thinks this guy is like a bear poacher. Is that like that was the premise? Like they hear that oh, there's a bear poacher out there. We're gonna follow him. Yeah, I think that was their like idea for like a, a student film. Like. Okay, um, that's silly. Yeah, like a documentary or something. Yeah. Um, but that's how it started. No, they were looking for this bear poacher. Uh, and they think, that's, they think that's what he is. Oh, okay. And the thing with the dead bears is a little weird. Like, why bring in a dead bear? Yeah, I think it was supposed to be, like, to cover up the carnage that the trolls are doing. They were like, oh, a bear did this. And but then still, like, it was bringing up more questions, though. Like, 
Yeah. Just, like people were like, well, this is, you know, these aren't these bears tracks. Like, yeah. And even like the, this guy's fucking with him at one point. Like, what did the bear like cross his legs at yeah. one point? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that dog doing? Oh, uh, being a pain in my ass. Cup at that dog. Yeah. Yeah. Got her. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I like this is like a good balance of like serious and just enough like deadpan humor yeah, to yeah. like, you know, get you through it. Yeah, it's not goofy, but they're 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 walking the line. You know well, what it's I mean? like, the comedy I think comes from like the relatable real life shit. Like like yeah. I said, this dude who's just sick of his fucking job uh-huh. sitting there fucking smoking a cigarette after a particularly like shitty fucking you yeah. know <laughs> incident. It's like motherfucker. God damn it, yeah. <laughs> like I feel you know, like that's where the comedy comes from. It's not like goofy comedy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um the acting is not bad. I I imagine this was more of an indie film than anything else. I I don't really know about Yeah, I I went like Norwegian film. These people so. aren't in anything. The only person yeah. who's really in other stuff is the uh the troll hunter guy. Oh yeah. Uh I forget his name. Hold on. It is uh, did I even oh, the fucking... the character's name? Yeah, Hans. Maybe did I? I didn't even save him. That's how little. Why did I not save him? He was I don't like know. One of the few people who's actually in shit. It might have been all like Norwegian shit. Otto Jesperson. That's his name. Yeah, Hans. Yeah, yeah. that's his name. Troll Jurgen. Troll hunter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No, like the the cast is good. Everybody seems to be acting well like i i i can't say for sure because the, obviously there's a, a language barrier but they emote the way they should you know it, it feels like you know when they're scared they're fucking scared and yeah when they're goofing off they're really goofing off the scene uh i think i, I would have liked to seen this scene go on like a little bit longer the troll uh like in the cave scene the mountain trolls yeah like because that was pretty fucking terrifying it was, think, yeah, yeah it was tense yeah so like, give me a little bit more of that. Like, give me like, have them be trapped in there for a little bit longer. Like, because it was pretty quick. Yeah, that, I think overall, I think that was maybe like five minutes of the movie. Yeah, yeah. And it's we're at a fucking hour and a half, man. Like, give me that. Like, that's cool. Like, I'm I'm okay with all of the lead up to that. Yeah, like, but to cut that short seems like a disservice. Yeah, you've got like the dude freaking out. Like, you can stretch that out a little bit more. Yeah. Like, you know, you know, even if they. Take even if my they, ass with the feather hair a little bit, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even if they like, you know, they get past those two trolls and they wander further in, like that would have been cool. Yeah. Um, what drove me kind of nuts with that though is like they're getting chased out and they've got these UV cannon weapons. Yeah, fucking Just fire fucking them. shoot them. Yeah. Obviously, they work because they've either turned to stone other trolls or completely fucking exploded, blown them up. Yeah, exploded them. So these aren't like the giant, giant ones like at the, in the end scene. You should be fine. Just take them out. Yeah. Go further in. Like build tension that way. Not just like this is the lead up to the chase. Yeah. The chase was fucking awesome, though. I really dug that um, when they're trying to get away from him and like they're weaving in and out of his feet and, and the tail. Yeah. Like that was cool. That was yeah. fun. That did. I mean, like for, for what, you know, I'm assuming the budget on this movie was like, it did look pretty cool. Like the CGI for that, like did look, you know, pretty decent. Yeah. Um, you know, not fucking a one top notch, but like still for, you know, again, for yeah. a, an indie foreign film. Yeah. Like, I imagine they didn't have a gigantic budget on this and yeah. what, what they had. I, th- I think they spent wisely, you know, cause like, like we were saying, like the the trolls don't look amazing, but they look good. Yeah, I like the design that they went with too. Um, yeah, like there's just like not just one standard troll. There's yeah, there's a kinds. variety. Yeah, that's rad. You know, like you know, like he gives you a little bit of a lore. You know, like hey, you know, like they don't start off with three heads. When they get older, they develop more. Yeah, yeah, I do love like the like the lore. You get just enough lore, like you know the design. You know they've varied. I really like that too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I could like who's a little bit more troll. Like they maybe, do look a little goofy, like with the big cartoonish noses and stuff like that. Like, but still, it's also like what you kind of you know think of when you think of these like folklorish looking trolls. That's like, true. You that's know, true. I I just I 
I'm just a, a person who wants menace, big, menacing, nasty looking monsters. And a big, goofy nose just doesn't. But I mean, think about it. If you're in that cave and you're trapped, are you going to be like, oh, fuck, I'm trapped by these like hilarious looking trolls? Yeah. Like, fuck, fuck, I'm trapped. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> these giant Al Jolson looking motherfuckers. <laughs> Uh, I see a lot going on in chat. I see we've got TJ Lamb. We've got Hey Boots. Oh, shit. Hey Boots. Uh, me and TJ Lamb are having a good go back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly at your expense. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Whatever. So uh, I'm a big boy. I can take it. Yeah. What? Buddy and Donner can do an episode. I don't know who Buddy is. Oh, I'm probably. assuming another dog. Yeah. Uh, to which I replied, just two old dogs barking back and forth at each other. Wouldn't be too far removed. <laughs> That's true. And there would be less ass sniffing. <laughs> well, this <laughs> is probably about the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I like the whole like they can smell the blood of a Christian. I like the one guy hiding the fact that he's a Christian. Like, yeah, that was dude, fun. Yeah, like, but that's the same as the I'm a. It's the a hiding the zombie bite. Yeah, the guy who's got really bit all he's not going to yeah. say anything. Yeah. yeah. Um. Uh, you know what the real, <laughs> if you look at broad strokes, the real villain of this movie is rabies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rabies. Because <laughs> that's why these trolls are all wandering around and going Getting crazy. Getting crazy, yeah. Got fucking rabies. Now this dude's got troll rabies. Yeah, you can't get rid of that. Yeah, yeah you're stuck with troll rabies, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not as bad as troll gonorrhea, but no, that's the worst. <laughs> yeah, koala gonorrhea, bad too. I heard. Yeah, I it was for koalas. Hey, look, don't judge koalas. Man. I think They're it's fucking. I think know? it's actually chlamydia. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 koala. yeah. Koalas riddled with chlamydia, yeah. like a nursing home. Those cute little furry <laughs> bastards love to fuck. <laughs> yeah. No, like syphilis and gonorrhea are rampant among uh, koala bears, yeah. nursing homes. Oh yeah, yeah, koala <laughs> bears and old people. Yeah, <laughs> also cuddly and, and adorable. Yeah, yeah, love to fuck. Yeah, <laughs> that koala bear fucks. <laughs> Just unfurl that thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh yikes! Yeah. Oh. Also, another weird thing about this movie, and it's not a big deal at all, but they've got a standby camera person just like on deck. Yeah, Are you shitting me. It took me a minute to realize there's four of them there because I thought there was. I only thought there was three, and then the one guy died, and like all of a sudden there's just another dude there. Like, no, it wasn't. A, it wasn't a guy. It was a the girl, the the Muslim girl. Oh, I didn't even notice. Yeah, there's a whole scene where she gets off the train. Oh, no, yeah, I must have, it must have been when I Train, like, bus, checked out. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, because he. What happened to the other guy? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they picked up the fourth guy uh, at the end, the, the seismologist. They picked him that up. That guy, the that I knew. Yeah, the guy. That they, was pointless. Yeah. Like, what the fuck was that all about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really don't need that. He, no. Like, he didn't bring anything to it. Like, No, the only thing it is was, like, a reason for them to stop the car. Yeah. Uh, but why? <laughs> and also, like, when they're driving, you know, he says he has to get in front of it. Like, you don't need to go under its legs. Like, you can yeah. go around it, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean... The fastest way to get somewhere is a straight line, I suppose. It's the fastest way to get fucking troll swatted, too. Like, <laughs> uh, Don't say troll swatted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we still have trauma from two weeks ago. <laughs> still waiting on that article. Uh -huh. um, what else is there to say about this? Um, I like the camera work. Yeah, I mean, there are scenes where it gets crazy and shaky, but again, that's it's where supposed it, to. It, it, yeah, when yeah. they're like running and stuff. Right. Uh, it's not crazy and shaky like right here when they're just talking and bullshitting. Like right, yeah. That's it's that's really it. Like where it's where it's supposed to be kind of steady, it's kind of steady. And when it's crazy and they're running, yeah, it's all shaky. That's right. that's what it's supposed to be. That's how it feels real. Yeah. I just I can't imagine this guy would just 
be like, all right, just follow me, film crew. Like, knowing how insanely fucking dangerous all this is. Well, he's also, like, you know, he even says, like, I'm fed up with this shit. Like, yeah. you know, this needs to change. Which I get, but, like, after they get that first bit of footage, be like, all right, now go on your way. Yeah, So yeah. you can deliver this to whoever it's got to go to. Um, also, why the fuck does he just, like, peace out at the end? He just, like, yeah. vanishes. <laughs> like, yeah. But, I don't know, unless he was going off to like see. I figured like fight he was, more trolls, but that doesn't make sense at all. Yeah, no, I figured like he was when he said goodbye to them. Like I figured he thought he was just gonna go die. Yeah, and like he lives, and then he just like disappears. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, like uh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's the fucking, cat's out of the bag, dude. It's like, fucking you know. strange. You know what it is? He abandoned them because he knew the fucking government was gonna show up. <laughs> Oh, that's maybe. what it is. He's a fucking bitch. That's yeah. what happened. That's true. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. That is probably <laughs> why. Yeah. <laughs> so long, suckers. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Uh, you know, I'm. I feel a little robbed that I didn't get to watch them get naked in a river and, and rub troll see, stench uh, all over themselves. Get naked in the river. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? That also bugged me about the um, the dubbed version. <laughs> Johanna, Johanna. Yeah, <laughs> it's, you're you're saying it wrong. Yeah. You're saying how it's spelled. You're saying it wrong. <laughs> it's, that's not right, dude. <laughs> no, no way. I'm not doing this, Thomas. It was it was bad. Like it's, I said it's, I, it's abysmal. Yeah, it's abysmal. I couldn't do it. Man, um, that, that that troll stench that he makes them rub on themselves—that looks like filth. That just it, looks it, nasty. It is. I mean, he says it's all the fluids you <laughs> got of a troll, so there's just boiled down troll fucking jizz and shit, like <laughs> boogers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ooh, some troll spunum. <laughs> smegma. Yeah. Troll smeg. Oh. It's troll cheese. I'm, I'm troll milk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. How do you milk a troll? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> Yucky. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's it shockingly kind of an enjoyable movie. Like I'm not gonna lie, like, I dug it. I did this movie. I had I had low expectations going into this. Um, nice but yeah, way, ple- pleasantly surprised. Nice way to uh, wrap up uh, found footage, Uary. Yeah, yeah. Today being February 31st. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think we can throw some ratings on this. We've been talking Ready? a while. Yeah, all right. Yeah, you want to go first? Yeah. Um, I I really dig this movie. I think I feel like I've been giving uh, all of our found footage movies, except one, except one, uh, like right around the same grade. And I think this one's in that same ballpark. I think for me, this is a seven. Like it's really, really enjoyable. Like as far as found footage goes, it does something a little different. It's not just like, you know, a movie where it's like somebody setting up a camera in their house trying to catch a haunting or something, you know, um, I like the, you know, like the, the folklore of it. I like the whole like world it kind of sets up. Mm-hmm. I'm here for it. I'll give it a seven. I'm I'm right there with you. I you know I'm I'm six five. Yeah. Um. I, you know I don't I don't see myself going back for this. But if it was on, I wouldn't argue. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So I think like six five is right where I'm at because I I think I would have liked the trolls to look a little better. Um, but yeah. I'm not, not going to ding it too hard because I know they're working. Yeah, with a they're budget, not like you right? know insufferably horrible. And yeah, they don't yeah. look terrible. Just, but yeah, they could have been a little better. I've, I've just been spoiled <laughs> by some better CG monsters, I guess. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like this, this, like you said, the story is cool. The fact that they they blend in some folklore is cool. Um. And it's it's and it's different. It's not just the same old bullshit. So, yeah. Yeah. Six six five. All right. Are you ready to move on to trivia? Let us do some trivia. All right. Not to bother you with trivia. I used to think they were kind of trivia. I'll have to uh, 
at some point put the trivia music in the drive so we can have it for this segment. Yeah. That way I won't have to do it manually anymore. <laughs> and the live viewers get it too. Yeah. We don't want to cheat yeah, you guys out of the experience, you know? Hell with them. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> That's got to be a button. Fuck them. <laughs> um, well, going back to that, I had, I had one pulled out of uh, Willow Creek. <laughs> And I decided we didn't we didn't need more of Chris yelling. <laughs> what was the clip? Because maybe we do need more of me yelling. Yeah. It was uh It's Bigfoot! <laughs> well, you have a new Chris one today. Tickle my ass with a feather. <laughs> That's gotta get pulled. There is a new uh I'm gonna try not to make the clip right now. Mm. A new Iron Chef to go with the hamburgers one. Uh, there's a beer one. Too. Oh yeah, this is the one that goes beer. Thank you. <laughs> Grab that one when you can. Uh, yeah. That's me. Yeah. I do that. Hey, okay. him. Don't talk to him. For comedic effect, it looks better when I go. Grab that one when you hey, can. Hey, producer man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cue that up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get paid to edit. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get paid to produce either. Yeah. Exactly. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, uh, let's move trivia. on to trivia. Trivia. My handy-dandy trivia tablet here. <clears throat> uh, the film contains several references to old Scandinavian folklore. Uh, for example, the goats on the bridge and a troll under it are references to the three billy goats. Thank you. Bottle opener. Uh, three billy goats <laughs> gruff. Uh, at one point, Kali uh, mentions an eating competition, a reference to the story Ascaladin. Uh, if you can't get any information out of Jasmine, ask Aladdin. <laughs> but. Yeah. Uh, the movie contains several characters played by Norwegian comedians. Otto Jesperson, uh, the troll hunter. Uh, Note. Nerum, the power plant supervisor, Robert Stoltenberg, the Polish bear supplier, and Hans Morten Hansen, uh, who played Finn, the troll hunter's boss, are all high-profile comedians. I don't know that that was in your segment or if I stepped all over it. No, but, uh, I have no idea any of these fucking people are. Yeah. All right. Yeah, high-profile comedians. Yeah. Apparently not that high-profile. Ooh. <laughs> They're Norwegian. Yeah. Um, well, the fuck is Norwegian? Uh, hey, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deep cut uh, Pulp Fiction reference right there. <laughs> the fuck is Samoan? <laughs> Fat Tony. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> a painting by Theodore Kittleson based on the Soria Moria castle fairy story is used as a backdrop in one of the trips they do in the film. Uh, Thomas stands in the same pose and asks his friends, do I look like that famous painting? I have never seen that painting. Yeah, no. Um, but it's fine. I'm not that cultured. I'm fucking swine. Uh, Troll Hunter contains many references to Norwegian culture and Norwegian folk tales. Uh, like the belief that there are different species of trolls, trolls having tails, multiple heads, and the ability to smell a Christian's blood, uh, trolls eating rocks but loving meat, and sometimes eating man eater, uh, being man eaters. Uh, the trolls are also described as big, old, strong, but slow and dim witted, uh, and turning to stone when exposed to sunlight. All right, which I learned from The Hobbit. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> You ready for this? Like, this is going to blow your fucking socks off. Uh, well, something I thought of when I was watching this. Yes. Where does a fucking 200 foot hole, like tall troll hide from the sunlight? In the mountain. <sighs> all right. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Fine. Fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> fine. That's, whatever. That's fine. No, sure. There's a 200 foot tall cave somewhere. In, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah gotta be. Because yeah. he was in it. Yeah. That's where he come from. Uh, <laughs> this one's gonna blow your fucking socks off. All, All right, right, you ready? Let's you ready? go. Fucking the hard drives used by the students are Lassie rugged portable drives. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit. Thanks, IMDb. You know, I I, I thought for sure it was Sans Disc, but fucking, <laughs> what do I know? Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. And this is our final trivia fact for the evening. All right. Jotunheim is a location from North Myth, Norse Myth, uh, where the gods battle giants, which I did know. It and is a uh, location in Snap as well. <laughs> Your cards lose one energy every turn there. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. <laughs> one power. Sorry, one power. Um, all right. We will That's it. move on. Do the better known as. Nope. Go. <laughs> you bastards. Do we not have oh, different tech? It's on the other deck? Why would it be on the other deck? Oh, you're right. I don't think no. I. You don't have it on here. Oh, shit. All right. Well, you know, I know you. <laughs> Didn't you but play it last you. week, though? You I did. thought I did, but it's not there. It was 100% played last week. Well, it's not there now. Oh, I know you. Yeah, you're not but you. You're not you. Yeah. Go Fuck. On, Chris. All right. Uh, yeah, no, we'll move on to the better known as. Uh, call, call, bang. Fuck, I'm dead. <laughs> we will start off where we always do with the director, Andre Overdahl, who we've actually talked about before. Really? Yes. He most recently was the director of uh, Last Voyage of the Demeter last oh, year. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh, really, really, we, we really, really, really so enjoyed good. that movie. I've it's been dying so to watch that again. Yeah. Um, it's got it's got to be on streaming. At it's on Showtime. Now. Yeah. If you have. Uh, so that's Max, right? Uh, Paramount Plus. Oh, yeah. 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 You have to have the Showtime like add on, though. Oh, that's right. Max has uh, Cinemax. Stuff, yes. Right? Yeah. 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 Donner excited as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he is uh, working currently on the uh, sequel to Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, which he directed the first one of in 2019. Oh, I thought that was Guillermo. Oh, he must have just he produced, produced it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He also directed The Autopsy of Jane Doe in That's 2016. That's a fucking thriller and a half. Yeah, but... that is a banger of a fucking movie. Uh, I recommend checking that one out. Yeah. Uh, that is like midnight movie material, like a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah like that's that's just unsettling, start to finish. Yeah, I actually I remember Amanda, um, uh, myself, and my sister watched that. Like my sister's apartment when that came out. Like, again, like midnight. Like yeah, like hey, let's watch one more movie before we go to bed. Like, <laughs> Mistake. I, this one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and this was like the first really big thing he got uh, noticed for. It was two thousand ten. Yeah. Uh, but his first directing job was in two thousand. Future Murder. Mm. Uh, we will move on. Up next, Johanna Mork. Uh, did I save her for a reason? Before she I came. Know. I don't know. Yeah. After he left. Uh, all right. Moving on. Up next, we have Tom Tom Jorgensen. Uh, oh, I saved him because he was in Lilyhammer, uh, 2014. That's the uh, series with uh, Miami Steve Van Zant, uh, <laughs> from the uh, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, yeah, uh, and The Sopranos. Uh, there we go. That's right. the thing. He basically plays like his character from The Sopranos, like who moves to like Norway for like witness relocation. Oh. It was probably a really good series. I never watched it though. Yeah, I've. It's one of those again. It's one of those things that I do. Which I'm like, I want to watch that. Yeah, move on to the next did. thing. Yep. Uh, let's see. Anything worth mentioning here? I think the only reason I saved him because he was also in the Hammer. Yep. The veterinarian lady. Uh, mm -hmm. her name was. Do it. Come on, do it. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the the zero with the sign through it. Uh, so I think I it's ah. That's what I think, like an A, like an A, like an A-E sound. Yeah. Uh, so let's say Torin Laidmel, Laidmel Stockland. Uh, she played the veterinarian. Yeah. Uh, she was also in Lillehammer uh, for four episodes. She's, uh, that cannot be the underdog movie, can it? No. No. That's a Swedish underdog, or Norwegian underdog thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's really it. Like, there's really not much to work with this week. Yeah. Um, it's all like one night. What the TV series 2018? It's got to be Norwegian. Yeah. No. That's yeah. Norwegian. They're on a blind date in Oslo. <laughs> I mean, there's worse places to have a blind date. That's true. I will say the fucking the scenery in this movie is fucking amazing. I, I love oh, yeah. the fucking like you know get like a cabin out like, like that fucking lake with all the mountains everywhere in like, the summer. Yeah. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. No fuck that shit. 
I don't understand these people who take cruises to like Alaska. Nope. In the summer, Alaska is like not way up in Alaska. But like, yeah. Alaska gets warmer weather too. You know what else gets warmer weather? The Caribbean. Mm, Uh, That's like hot though. (laughs) Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, Let's see. We're going to move on and we're going to wrap up with... (laughs) Uh, Jens Stoltenberg, uh, who is at the end of the movie, he is actually really the fucking prime minister of fucking uh, Norway, or was at the time. No shit. Yeah, I think that actually was a, a real clip with that actor like dubbed in. I, I want to say like I remember like something about it being in the news about him mentioning like trolls or something in a news really? conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, and then they dubbed in that actor's like a uh, like reaction of like, mm, like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's really really that dude. No shit. Is that where we're going? We're heading for the crap shoot? We're on the crap shoot, yeah. Um, let's see. What have I done? I'm trying to think movie wise. You you went yesterday. Yeah, I I know that one. I like, did I go Sunday too? I think we went Sunday. What the fuck did we see Sunday? I don't know. I don't remember. I can tell you that I'm. Very interested in going to see Dune 2. Yes, I really would have liked to have seen that yesterday. Uh, I am, instead, we yeah. went and saw Stop Motion, uh, which was uh, more like Stop Snoring, am I right? Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, no, week. It was a like a psychological like thriller, horror, like... Which right away, like for me, is like ah, dude, I'm not my not my favorite fucking like I can dig subgenre it. of horror. like the whole like attraction of it was that like there are scenes where like you know like stop motion is being used because the whole like premise is like this woman is like the she's like the daughter of like this like you know renowned like stop motion director who's like on her deathbed. Mm-hmm. She's like trying to make her last film, and like you know her mom, you know she's helping her mom, and like she wants to make her own film, but like she's living in her mom's shadow, and like she starts making her own film, and like she sees this little girl who's helping her, and like immediately out spoiler throw a spoiler right out, I'm like that girl's not real. Fucking <laughs> sure enough, girl's not real. Yeah. Um, yeah, and like it, she she starts making this really like creepy, weird, like twisted stop motion film, which is kind of cool. Like yeah. that, I that I dig. Um, just there is just a lot of fucking, lot of talking and not a lot of shit happening. Yeah, and like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there there really was a really cool scene. Um, where like she sees like this thing, like this monster coming out of like the stop motion thing that she's building. Yeah. Um, and like it starts like attacking her, and like it's all fucking stop motion. And it looks really fucking cool. Right. Uh, and it's thirty seconds in a, a ninety minute movie. And Holy it, shit. Yeah. And yeah. it just doesn't fucking. It's not gonna carry the whole fucking movie for me. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, like I I dug the visual effects, but I could have used a whole lot more of them. Yeah. The story was just like uh, uh, the whole time, just saying, like, we could have been watching Dune, we could be watching Dune, <laughs> right? Still now. be watching, Dune. yeah. We could just get up and go into a theater where Dune is playing right now, yeah. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I, I want to see Dune so bad. I'm but going at noon tomorrow, I'm like, I'm I first show Sunday, I'm going, yeah. I have been avoiding really watching any of the trailers, yeah, because I just don't want. I don't want to. Like I will say they don't really give away much. I mean, like you see like a little bit of fade, you get like the idea of who fade is. Yeah. Um I mean they don't I don't as far as I know, they're not giving I mean not really hard. I mean it's you know, like a three hour movie. I'm sure like a ninety second trailer isn't gonna give away too much. I don't care, Christopher. I don't <laughs> fucking care. I don't want to see much of anything before I see this movie. Um, oh, we saw the Bob Marley movie Sunday. Oh, how was that? It was good. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It, um, I like that it wasn't like an origin Bob Marley movie. Like it, it really like it starts off. You get like, is it post his fame? It's really just a a specific time in his life. Yeah, it's the time like he goes to Jamaica to throw like this big piece like um, concert. Uh, and that's like when he, the shit goes down at his house with the guys show up and to kill him and like yeah. they shoot up his house like they shoot his wife yeah. they fucking shoot his manager um, and then like it, it's about him like going into exile actually like making the fucking Exodus record yeah and then like going back to Jamaica after that like you know to like, do this concert again and like right. you know kind of like conquer his fear of being fucking killed 
Uh, and like, you know, the whole time, like, hey, maybe you should get that toe checked out. Like, fucking. <laughs> Uh, yeah and like at the end like there's spoiler yeah yeah like he's like at one point like you just see him like his nail is all busted up and it's like his black ooze coming out they're like yeah you really should go to a doctor like yeah uh yeah spoiler toe cancer is a thing and he had it yep yeah <laughs> Yeah, because that, that wound up getting into his blood, right? Like, yeah, I think yeah. he had skin cancer is what it was, like a rare oh, form that, of skin cancer. Yeah. yeah. Um but no, it was really good. Like it was just like really about that one period. Yeah. Um I will say it took a little like acclimating to the language. Oh yeah. Yeah, because it is it is they are there not putting the kid gloves on for you. Yeah. It is in that like Jamaican like patois, like you gotta like start putting shit together of like what they're saying. Yeah. Um but I, it, I didn't have a tough time with did it. Did it feel realer than bohemian rhapsody yes yeah it wasn't like kind of glamorized like because he's like you know he fucking wasn't the greatest dude either like fucking you know he had his shortcomings they don't like avoid them um no it it was really good i I really did enjoy it yeah um yeah yeah as far as music biopics go yeah and like the whole the whole week i've just been fucking exodus like walking around (laughs) in my head fucking I watched, uh, I finally sat down and watched most of Killers of the Flower Moon. Oh, what'd you think so far? Oh, it's fucking amazing. Yeah, I, I want to watch I, it again. But. I think I've got like 20 minutes left of the fucking thing. Cause I, I was watching What are watching you up it. to? I couldn't tell you exactly where I left off. Cause uh-huh. I, cause I fell asleep. Cause <laughs> I, I, I'm an idiot. And I was like, oh, it's like nine o'clock. Yeah. Turn, turn this on. Um, but it, oh my god, the movie's fucking devastating. It, like, it's just pure fucking evil. These yeah. people, like, yeah, and it doesn't really even scratch the surface of how fucking bad it really was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, and, and you're watching this movie, you're like, these motherfuckers are awful. And then you look into like what actually it's fucking happened. Worse. It's worse. <laughs> it's so fucking worse. I hate white people. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate white people. Yeah. There's your racist element to this podcast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, no, it's just like you you're evil. You're yeah. it's pure fucking evil. Like the fact the fact that it's all based on the, on Native Americans struck oil. But we can't just let them have that. We've got to go like well, you guys aren't responsible with your money. Yeah. We'll handle your money as the government. No. Fuck you. Let them have something. You took everything from it's these people. It's not even we'll people. handle your money. It's you're not smart enough to handle your yeah. money. Yeah. That's yeah, that's the fucking Like every the time teeth. like they go to the bank, she's like mentally deficient, like Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Restricted. Yeah. 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 The, <laughs> God damn it. Like you you took everything from these fucking people. <laughs> Let them have their fucking money. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's Sons not a bitch. It is not a light watch. Like, no, it's yeah. not. And it is so, so good. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Everybody is awesome in it. Jesus Christ. A fucking star studded cast. I, there's a scene I want to talk you, about, but I don't want to give it away if you yeah. haven't gotten to it. But yet. even the people you don't know are fucking great in it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. What's it got to do with? The trial? No, I didn't get to a okay, trial. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, never mind then. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, that was a really good movie. Holy shit, Robert De Niro's character is such a scumbag. Yeah. Such a scumbag. Yeah. And it's it's nice to see him kind of play that role, because like, he's not... He's normally, like, your hero. Yeah. Like, right? Even if he's, like, your flawed hero, you know, he's got, you're like, his... Uh, you know, like your your taxi driver or whatever. You're like, oh, but he's so cool. And yeah. in this, you're like, Jesus Christ, it's I hope fucking he fucking evil. die. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's that's amazing. That movie's uh, so fucking good. Um, you know, in like on the video game front, I um I've been feeling like I want to play like a an MMO art again. All right. So I, I I downloaded um, Elder Scrolls online uh, because I, you know, I have it. I, I think I have like two hours on record with yeah. it. Um, but I'm really gonna try to get into that again. I'm still playing uh, Suicide Squad kills the Justice League, 
Eh, it got better, but it's not great. Yeah. I, I We talked about this. Like, I hate yeah. this bullshit in games now where, like, <clears throat> pardon me, the game out of the box fucking sucks. And yeah. then, like, it doesn't really get good until you start unlocking powers and shit like that. Like, no, like, fucking give me some, like, some good shit up front. Like, yeah. you know? Ugh, it's just frustrating. Yeah. I mean, you can have, like, I mean, yeah, not overpowered characters and shit like that but as long as you make the progression fun yeah like that's what counts um and the repetition's getting a little repetitive fucking uh as well and there's really like three or four just different base types of missions like go here kill these things yeah. go here survive for this amount of time go here protect this thing that's what always killed me with like assassin's creed yeah because I only played the first game but like it's just the same thing over and over and over again yeah and that's why I didn't really like the Deadpool game either, because like, yeah, that's I, I'm little... literally spending all of this time just killing the same two enemies. You know, like, just give me something. Yeah, the yeah. humor is cool, and then and the combos are fun. But like, I gotta look at something else every yeah, once in a while. That's what this is. Like, it's just the same. Like, you're grunt, you're brute. Oh, there's a tank, and like, yeah, you know, it's all the same things. This over is, and over. These are the special version of that same guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck all of that. Uh, let's see. I just crossed level 10,000 and snapped this week. You're a fucking monster. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still playing the uh, Godzilla Battle Lines game. Not, not as much as I was, but... Oh, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm still enjoying that. All right, all right. It's fun collecting monsters that I know and love. <laughs> I just got... Um, Godzilla from 1989. I think 89 was the year that was on it. All right. I can't remember what movie it was related to, but I, uh, speaking of collecting monsters that I love, I have multiple incoming Godzilla figures. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I will last week we were in the bar. We were talking about this before we started recording after the show last week, we went to the bar and like, uh, yeah, I was a few drinks in. I was feeling a little saucy. I'm, uh, you know, fucking. I'm an adult with some disposable income. Like fucking, uh, I feel like buying a, uh, you know, going a little all out on a Godzilla figure. Um, so I, I hit up. If you're a Godzilla like collector, uh, this is a name you're gonna know. Why MSF? Um, uh, she is uh, from Japan. She uh, makes uh, like Godzilla figures. Uh, really like special like like ones like they don't make like not like the ones you get like from like Bandai they're just ones you're not yeah. gonna see like right um, I have like a minion one I got from her that's it's really cool um, the one I bought at the bar last week was the uh, the ninety eight uh, Zilla figure which I can't wait to get that one yeah um, because you know Bandai doesn't make that one like it's just you know not one you're gonna buy anywhere else like yeah um so that's that's a cool you know i got that one now again coming oh, i'm trying to think of the guy that designed that uh greg totopolis right yes yeah 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 because it's the character's name in the fucking movie his name's nick totopolis in the oh movie. is it yeah jesus christ i have incoming from the godzilla store i bought a a manda figure which is like the chinese dragon looking one the long like, yeah yeah green uh like you know worm looking one and I have a third one that's going to be a surprise to me because I don't remember what the fuck it was. <laughs> I, I know I bought it from the Godzilla store. Yeah. I, I don't, don't know. remember. I the don't Godzilla remember. Godzilla store has some fucking banging t-shirts too, by the way. Yeah. They, since they opened that U.S. Godzilla store, like yeah, they, they're kind of dope. <laughs> I've, I've, I've spent some money. I've spent some yeah. money there. Yeah. Uh, we have video game related questions up here, I think. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, welcome to oh. Uh, hey, Boots. Uh, I... Just for the first time in a while, logged into our uh, Big Dumb Monsters Steam account and accepted your friend request. Um, maybe I'll play through that account. So we're already friends there. Um, are there the gargantuas in Godzilla game? Is that the uh, from where the gargantuas? Uh, no, no, they're not in there. I I almost bought a gargantua figure from YMSF. She only has the brown one though. I wanted the green one. God damn it! What is it? It's Frankenstein and and I forget what the it's like uh, it's like Gaia or Gaera or something like that. And yeah. I forget what the uh, the green evil one is. Uh, but yeah, no, I, she didn't. She only had the brown one left. I'm like, damn it. Yeah. 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 I don't love the design of those monsters. They just look like balding apes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I, I cannot for the fucking life of me, life of me, remember what that third figure is. Sanda and Gara. Sanda and Gyra. That's it. Yeah, Gyra. yeah. TJ Lamb with the save. Nice. Yep. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not a Jet Jaguar. It's got to be something I wouldn't have. Jet Jaguar is pretty fucking awesome. Though. Yeah, I have Jet Jaguar. I don't think I would have bought Baragon. I don't know. Hedora. I have a Hedora. The fuck did I buy? Buy a Lante. <laughs> I have one. Really? Yeah, yeah. I, there's a there's a uh, um, a Bandai Bandai makes a Biolanti, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, YMSF makes a Biolanti, which is way fucking better. Which version? Uh, the the Bandai one is like the giant one, like the four like arms and the and like the giant mouth. That's the evolved version. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. She the one she makes is like the one like the flower version. Yeah. Uh, and she also makes one like a giant one too. Like uh, it looks different than the other one. <laughs> TJ Lamb swearing up and down. You bought a Manila. I did buy. No, I no, I already own a Minya. Right. Uh, I don't know what the fuck it was. It was a pre-order, so it's something that's coming out. Yeah. It wouldn't have been. I don't. I don't want Scar King. Fuck that dude. <laughs> uh. Fuck. I don't know. Yeah. It's King Caesar. I have a King Caesar. Uh. Jesus Christ, man. I ha- like. I have. Like. It's. I don't know if it's something I don't have or just something like a version I don't have, but God damn it. Oh, oh, what the fuck? It's a minus one. It's a fucking minus one Godzilla. Oh. Yeah, it's a black and white minus one Godzilla. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Christ. Yeah, dude. King Caesar. Who doesn't love King Caesar? <laughs> your, your son's favorite kaiju. He's, he my fa- he's his favorite kaiju. That's awesome. Fucking, you know, foo dog. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I, yeah, I've got those incoming. I, I you know, like there is just not enough minus one fucking like merch out right now. No, there's really not. There, are, there's a couple like t-shirts, but like there's a cool picture, but it has like Godzilla minus one written yeah, all over. I don't, it. Like, I don't yeah. need that. Like, yeah, just yeah. show me the picture. Exactly. I want the artwork. Don't God advertise the movie. Advertise the monster. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, not much like in that way. I almost. I, I, I bet was, you like, could find some shit on like T Public. I got. To become, oh, I, last arts. night I was on like a hunt because I was oh, like, yeah. it was late at night. I had like you know again like oh, I'm an adult. I've got some spare money. I got like twenty twenty five bucks. I can blow on a t shirt. Um, I, I was looking around at shit. I almost bought, uh, like a Japanese, uh, like Godzilla versus Hedera, like. And like Japanese, like the Japanese poster basically with yeah. the writing on it. Yeah. I was like, eh, I'm like, I feel like I can find something cooler. So I looked around. I think I got this from Fright Rags. Oh, Fright Rags has tons of awesome shit. Yeah. They had a, you ever seen like the original, like, uh, like it's the original movie poster for Dracula with like the gargoyle head? Yeah. I got the sh- I got the shirt with the gargoyle head. No shit. Yeah, it's it's got the, it's that poster. It's you know Dracula on the bottom. Yeah. I'm like fuck yeah yeah Sick. yeah. So I ended up going with that one. That's fun. Yeah, I haven't really. I you know what I did buy some new shirts for work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 yep. yeah. I'm kind of tired. I'm an adult. Of, tired of ruining my clothes by welding in them. So. <laughs> Yeah, bought uh, some 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 nice navy button up work shirts to to destroy, and not my like ones like this one from Session Zero. All um, right, you know, if you like D and D and you know, like the hardcore aesthetic, check out Session Zero clothing. Uh, Since so you buy like a bunch of dickies for work, so you can dress like a worker or like a cholo when you're done after yeah, work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can sock check me, motherfucker. They're up. <laughs> like phone books tucked into your belt, <laughs> dude. I measure shit and. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord! I just don't drink Modelo. That's all. Yeah, <laughs> Tecate is uh, not my cerveza. Mm. Um. I, I it is the third month of 2024, and I am on my third actual book with no pictures in it. God damn, son. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big boy now. 
<laughs> fucking i finished the comedians uh which uh, i i've been talking about this like the past three episodes like, yeah if you were if you're a fan of comedy like if you love stand-up you need to read this book it's it stayed, so stayed good all the way through good it gets better towards the end because you get into like the 60s and 70s so you start talking he starts talking about carlin and prior more oh yeah he starts talking about the comedy boom in the 80s like i was actually like right before he, he died this week and like right before i was you know right before he died i was you know I'll, there's, there's some stuff about richard lewis in there yeah stuff about larry david um such i mean it, i mean like anybody who like had you know was had their moment in comedy like is in this book and like if, if you're a, if you're a comedy fan like read this book i yeah. I, I really i'm i you know i'm not gonna say that i'll we're gonna, we're gonna keep that one close to the vest okay um uh, same author though I'm reading his I read his books out of order The Comedians is the first book I read Outrageous which is his third book that was the first one I read first yeah but they're different enough like it doesn't matter yeah like, yeah there's no, yeah there's no connection there's no yeah it's not like a chronological thing no they're all yeah. different subject matter so I just started his second book this week it's called We Had a Little Real Estate Problem uh, and it's all about how like really like stand up uh, has like a lot of its origins and like Native American traditions and like mm-hmm. how there's uh, like um a lot of you know basically native americans have been like sold short and like as far as their you know, contributions to the to the genre yeah well because um, that's 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 their history it was all oral s- storytelling yeah you know like that's they didn't have a written language yeah exactly so I'm, I'm really like hyped to really dig into this one yeah um by the way rest in boku to richard lewis Boku, yeah, I, I fucking drank Boku. Yeah, I drank the shit out of Boku. My mom would put those in my lunch like every day if I school. Oh, that's like the only things that I really grew up knowing Richard Lewis for was 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 uh, Boku. The big giant juice boxes. It was it was Robin Hood men in tights and hawking fucking juice on TV. <laughs> I'll repeat a quote we uh, we said a couple weeks ago. It's a good change. It's a good, <laughs> good change. change. Yeah. <laughs> That's a line that makes me laugh every fucking time. Used to be shit house. Used to be shit house. It's a good change. It's a good change. <sighs> but yeah, Boku. If you were if you were not a child of the early nineties, Boku were these giant fucking juice boxes like this yeah, big, like no joke. Huge. Uh, they had like a pull tab on them and everything. They, they were ju- well, they were juice boxes for adults. For adults, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like weird flavors too. I forget the. It was like a white grape, uh, like was one of them. I think that was the one I yeah. had a lot. There was, um, I don't know, like a papaya bullshit or something. I don't know. Like, <laughs> but they were they were good. They were really good. But I mean, yeah. my mom would put those. The in commercials my fucking... were fucking strange. And yeah, <laughs> Richard Lewis was the spokesman for Boku, uh, for Boku juice. <laughs> Gotta have my Boku. Yeah, um, yeah. Rest in rest in power. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm hyped about reading that book. Um, I just read the introduction the other day. Like this one's the shortest of the three. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 not box wine. If you had one from the nineties, it might well, be wine now. Yeah, I was just, if you left it in your car like long enough, it'd probably turn into wine. Like yeah. if it was a hot day. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, what else? What else? Anything else? Um, Hmm. We've cracked the hour mark. I can see yeah, it's, it's fine. Well, technically, we're we, we have two minutes to crack the hour mark because of the five minute warning. We'll 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 be all right. Yeah, we're we're fine. I'm not in a rush to get out of here. Yeah, got no place to be. Well, I got one place to be, but it's we don't get there till later on. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we, we've got a lot of Godzilla chat going on today. So um, yeah, let's have the Godzilla. I'm always down to talk Godzilla. I we love Godzilla movies. It, like that was the basis of the, the origin of this show anyway. So <clears throat> TJ's going off like crazy about Godzilla. He wants to know if there's um, Toho Kong merch in the Godzilla store. It's all Toho Kong. It's, it's Toho that runs it, isn't it? Well, he, he wants to know in the Godzilla store, if there's Kong shit. Oh, oh, is there Kong shit? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I believe so. Yeah. Like some of the newer stuff, you're not going to find like, like the seventies, like Kong vs. Godzilla Kong stuff like that. Yeah, but they will have like the newer Kong vs. Godzilla Kong on like Skull Island, um, which we we happen to have a, a Kong Skull Island figure. Out. We don't have anything troll related, so I just got two giant monsters. Yeah, I, I figured when we could do a Gamera movie again, so I, I pulled out yeah. Gamera. Um, uh, but yeah, no, I think there is some Kong stuff in the in the Toho store. I think it, I think we need to do another like classic kaiju movie. So I'm, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw yeah. it to chat like. 
talk it talk it out guys like what, what what's our do? next what's our next uh Godzilla movie uh, obviously TJ's gonna say you know he wants to do uh we were just talking about it the fucking Heater, well, uh, War of the Gargantuas oh, oh War of the Gargantuas I, I but I I challenge you to find a better movie for me to watch you don't I, like that movie I don't you just don't like that movie I just don't like that movie yeah. I don't know it's like <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, we could do that crazy one. I'll, I'll, this is my this is my suggestion. I think it's from like two thousand and one ish around there. Uh, Godzilla, Mothra, King Ghidorah, all all, all monsters attack. I all think. out monsters attack. All out. Yeah, yeah. It's the crazy one where like yeah. Godzilla is like made up of all the ghosts of like the soldiers who died in World War Two. <laughs> like it's some crazy bat shit. Like yeah. I can it be crazier than Final Wars? That was pretty crazy. That that because that movie is meth <laughs> it's, and that is literally a Mountain Dew commercial <laughs> fucking Godzilla style <laughs> although it was fun it was fun as shit but it was fucking crazy I I think any of the movies with the, the fucking Zalians are, are weird well obviously they're supposed to be weird but like they're off the rails weird yeah 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 uh, any suggestions? Nothing yet. Oh. Chat. He said the one. Uh, the one I suggested is trippy. Yeah. Um. What could we do? The, I mean, there's no shortage. I mean, Godzilla versus Gigan is one people like a lot. Yeah. I mean, we could make a list of like the heavy hitter, well known ones. Like you know, like there's Biolanti is a good one too. Biolanti. Yeah, Hedora. Destroyer. Destroyer, yeah. Or you could sign Conquers the World. I yeah. mean, that's basically the same fucking movie. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't seen that one. I've only seen War of the Gargantuas. Um, isn't that the sequel? Uh, War of the Gargantuas is the sequel to Frankenstein yeah. and Conquers the World, yeah. I mean... Hey, Boots cannot contribute because Godzilla knowledge is zero. <laughs> <laughs> Fix that. <laughs> Wait, is it because you don't get it together, man? Because you don't give a shit about Godzilla movies, or because you just like haven't gotten into it? Like it's you, the same thing. No, no, no. Because you, you can have interest in the thing and just not dip your toe in the waters yet, yeah, or yeah. you could not give a fuck. All right, all right. Uh, I'm still thinking about Godzilla movies. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be our next our next thing. Which one? All out attack. All right. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's do all out attack. All right. That was the um, kind of the inspiration for a lot of the shit in uh, minus one. Uh, like the oh, look the of the world. monster. Yeah. Yeah. The, okay. Like, you know. Yeah, you're right about that. All right. Yeah, let's do that one. Oh, raids again. The U.S. dub. Uh, uh, no, we're 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 all right. We're we're okay. Although I'm not opposed to raids again because that's the direct the direct sequel to this. Not good. One. Yeah, but we do get Anguirus. <laughs> <laughs> such a fucking such a chump. It's clearly, just a dude on his knees, <laughs> like walking around. <laughs> when is a okay after that movie? When has Anguirus actually been a fucking threat? Uh, never, never. never. <laughs> He's a punk bitch. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Hey, boots. Uh, working on it. Read more than I watch now. So taking my time to see the different monster movies you guys talk about. Oh, we talk about a stupid amount of movies. Um, King Kong escapes. Where does he escape from? Ooh, that's the one with Mecha Kong. King Kong escapes from New York. Yeah. <laughs> I almost bought a Mecha Kong from YMS. I don't own a Mecha Kong. Is that the precursor to King Kong escapes from LA? Yes. <laughs> oh, what about King Kong lives? The fucking 80s one? Oh. <laughs> we did do the 70s one. Yeah. That was awesome. 
That movie fucking ruled. <laughs> King Kong Lives does not rule. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, the first time I watched that was on Monster Vision. Oh, really? Because I remember it came out when I was a kid, and like I, my parents wouldn't take me to see it. So it might have been rated R. Yeah. Really? Uh, maybe. Uh, or they just didn't give a fuck. Yeah, they enough. just didn't want to take me to see it. Yeah, that's that's more than likely what it was. <laughs> TJ owned. I own King Kong lips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, let's do let's do all out attack first. I I sense a kaiju month coming. <laughs> oh, that's not what I was thinking. No, I'm hung up on King about, Kong Lives now. Oh, now I want to watch King Kong Lives. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> fuck it. We'll do it. All right. <laughs> well, yeah, let's do, let's, do, let's do King Kong Lives, then we'll do All Out Attack. Yeah, we'll feel it out. You know, we're tying it in with the uh, upcoming release of fucking uh, uh, Godzilla X Kong. Yeah. Uh, the New Empire, colon. When is that? <laughs> uh End game. End game. <laughs> colon. Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Colon. Uh, <laughs> I have a feeling that movie is gonna not rule. Uh, I. Uh, uh-huh. I yeah. Wanna... <laughs> Kai Jun. Oh. Perfect. I we got one. Here, I was sitting here trying to figure it out. We I, got one. I couldn't do it. <laughs> we got he one. Got we need that from Ghostbusters. <laughs> All right, let's still do King Kong Lives next week, though. But we'll do we'll do Kaijun. Okay. All right. All right. I uh, like that. When is when is the new uh, Godzilla Kong movie out? Three weeks from yesterday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. we'll yeah we'll do King Kong Lives and then we'll... is Late Night with the Devil next week or two weeks? Those people never got back to me. So. <laughs> hey, get uh, back to us. Yeah, get back to us. Um, I think it's two weeks. Yeah. Okay. I'm so excited for that. Yeah. I'd, like I'm. I'm really excited. I'm yeah. so glad that I kept my Shutter account. I don't think it's gonna be on Shutter. I think it's gonna be in the movies. Really? Yeah. Huh. That being said, that's a weird thing for a Shutter exclusive movie to do. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in the movies. I, I saw a preview yeah. for it last night. Oh no shit. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. I, plus, I looked at the, there was this, like, you know, on Facebook, they'll put out the, like, you know, this month on Shutter. Yeah. I did not see Late Night with the Devil on there. Bitches. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess I'm dragging my ass to the I was like, do we want to go see it and then do an episode? Uh, Probably not, because it doesn't feel like a monster movie. It's the fucking devil. <laughs> the devil. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Fucking. No, we don't have to. We don't have to. Oh, I definitely want to do that for Godzilla Kong, though. All right, let's do let's do that for we'll we'll do it for that then instead yeah. of late night of the devil. Yeah, I'm down for that. Yeah, that, that's that that'd be fucking rad. All right, so yeah, yeah. All right, I, yeah, yeah. I really want to go see late night with the devil. We don't just but have I to don't, do an episode. I don't necessarily yeah. want to do an episode on it. Got it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. 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 I like this. I like this. Yes. Um, Kaijun so, is uh, going to be a recurring thing, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how we even thought of it. We're about to hit year three for Christ's sake. Ew. Um, yeah, gross. What? Um, King Kong is staying on the table then for next week. Who else we got? I could put that Kong model together in the next week and paint it, but that's I mean, not going to fucking the, happen. You have no shortage of King Kong or King Kong. Yeah, I have Godzilla Kong's. Shit. I have Kong's in the other room too. Uh, We're talking about table decorations at this point. Yeah, it is way, <laughs> way inside baseball. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Hey, this is just so you know, a little bit of care goes into what's on the table every week for you guys. A little. Yeah, very little. It used bit. to be a lot. <laughs> then we decided, <laughs> We haven't put comics out in a while. That's true. We should get on that. Yeah. Um. Anything else? We've been really like stretching it out. We've, That's we've fine. yeah, we're 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 in the safe past an hour mark. I mean, if we want to, what we can oh. do, oh, is end the show. All right, and just stay on and hang out. We can just stop stop recording. Keep streaming. We could do that. Why don't we do that? All right. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. So we're gonna give you guys our socials and uh, yeah. quote unquote end the show. You know what? Maybe not. Maybe not. 
inside baseball, there's certain numbers that we need to keep up and fucking <laughs> maybe if we just riff on, like riff on. I mean, we're at a pretty good number. Colossal. That is a pretty good, uh, pretty good. I haven't seen that in a while. What is Colossal? Uh, that is a movie with uh, Anne Hathaway and Jason Sudeikis. It's, Jesus, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of like a like a metaphor type of movie where like she's an alcohol. They're, they're both alcoholics, but like she realizes that, like whenever she gets drunk, she gets blackout drunk. Like she be, she like controls this fucking kaiju that like comes out and like attacks like Korea. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> So like Sudeikis is like her ex, you know, toxic like, ex boyfriend, and then like this, he realizes he has like the same power. Like he controls this giant fucking robot. Like whenever he gets fucking blackout drunk, and it's about them like fighting as like giant kaiju. I am so invested in this right now. <laughs> <laughs> is that like just drunk history Pacific Rim? <laughs> kind of, yeah, yeah, pretty much. If we do not do an episode on that, I am still going to watch it. Feel free. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, give you our socials now. Yes. As our website is www.bigdumbmonsterspodcast.com. Or if you are too lazy for that, bigdumbmonsters.com will also take you to the same website. Absolutely. We are on uh, Facebook. We are Big Dumb Monsters Pod. Uh, you can email us, you know, uh, suggestions for the show, th- you know, things we can change, things you don't like about the show. Hey, let us know. Like, we're. We can change, baby. <laughs> I swear, baby. <laughs> uh, you know, movies we should watch. You know, beer we should try. I'm all, as long as it's not an IPA, I'm good. Um, Somebody's going to be like, try the decoration beer. <laughs> it's, it's, we're going to get drunk enough to drink it one night. The, the, I don't even have to be that drunk to drink that. <laughs> we have one PBR that's been here for like a month now. Um <laughs> But yeah, uh, hit us up. Uh, anything you think that we should know, or that you think we should, you know, try to try to change. Uh, Big Dumb Monsters at Gmail dot com, or a list of movies that we can watch too. Um, uh, boy, uh, what else we got? Um, I stock pale ale. I'm in. Oh wait, it's a pale ale. I don't know. It is. Yeah. It's an, an IPA. Then I won't drink it. Uh, <clears throat> Um, we are on Slasher, the all horror social network. Uh, we are Big Dumb Monsters podcast. Uh, it's a really good place to be. You know, like I see tons and tons of horror movie recommendations on there, and, and it's like too many for me to even keep up with. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, uh, but good people. You can also find us on Instagram and Threads at Big underscore Dumb underscore Monsters. Uh, you can find us every Saturday night. Uh, on both Twitch and YouTube at Big Dumb Monsters. We stream the show usually about 8.15. goes out live on both channels. We've got chat going on both channels, so stop on by. Yeah. Type some stuff at us. Uh, you know, we're here. We're having a good time. Yeah, call us idiots, drinks. whatever. Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's a party. Come on by, have a good time. Uh, you should check out our merch store on Public. Uh, just search for the Big Dumb Monsters uh, when you get there. Um, and yeah, check us out wherever uh, you know you listen to your podcasts at, uh, if you're not watching the streaming. Uh, we're, we're on Spotify, where you can watch the video uh, version of the podcast, the slideshow. Um, mm-hmm. We're on Apple bullshit. We're on, uh, yep. we're on everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Google Podcast is going away, I believe. Yes, I uh, believe so. It's going the way of Stitcher. <laughs> Which also is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone away. So pretty much your only two choices, I guess, are Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Yeah. So get used ones, to it. The, the only ones that people really give a shit. There are a million places that you can actually listen to it. But yeah, we're, we're all, all those smaller ones that we're on to. Podbean, I think, is another one. Like, sure. There's a pod something. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Sure. Yeah. Just listen to Just the damn show. Place. Yeah. Like, subscribe. Uh, Tell a friend because like the the best way for a podcast to grow an audience is for people to go like, hey, I really like this show. I think you should check it out. And then hopefully they like it, too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, And then, uh, yeah, like some stuff on on YouTube, you know, like some videos, subscribe if you can. Mm -hmm. Uh, We are we're 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 growing brand and we want to, you know, keep that uh, momentum going. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to leave you with some words of wisdom. Yeah. 
Uh, don't let ghoulies eat your ass. And never sleep in a deathbed.